today. Seamoy Headphone Amplifier Seamoy Headphone Amplifier is a very popular headphone amplifier, designed by Mr. Chumoy. It's easy to build and small enough to fit inside a candy tin box like this or toy's box. The sound is excellent. It's also powerful enough for most headphones. It's a great project if you've just getting started with audio DIY. Here is a modified schematic of the amplifier from the guy at tangentsoft.net. There, you'll have a very details on how to build this Seamoy headphone amplifier. Thank him for that. Today we're gonna take a different approach by building this headphone amplifier using a strip board. Here is how all the components are laid out. This diagram illustrates the top view of the finished board with the copper cladding strips on the bottom. We'll start by cutting the strip board into a smaller piece, a piece of 9 strips, 12 holes a strip. It is a good idea to use a marker to mark where you want to cut before you cut it. I find it easier to cut through the holes, rather than cutting between the holes. Here I run a utility knife through the holes a couple times before I break it against the edge of the table. Repeat these steps for the remaining sides. And here is the final board. Now I use the marker to mark where I need to break the conductive lines on the strip board. I also roughly mark the position of the op-amp. I do the marks on both sides of the strip board. This will later be used as a guide when I install the actual components. Next, to break those conductive lines, here I use a 5mm drill bit to drill lightly on where the marks are. And here is the final result. Now, let's prepare those off-board components. Here I solder two 9V battery clips together in series by connecting one's negative lead to the other one positive lead. Remember to put a heat shrinking tube in first. Next, connecting the remaining positive lead to an on-off toggle switch. Next, let's add some wires to the 3.5mm stereo sockets and the dual 10K potentiometer. Here is how you connect them. Keep the wires relatively short. Next, we solder a 10K resistor to one of the LED lead. Then, we extend the leads with some wires. It's a good idea to cover all connections here with heat shrinking tubes. Now, it's time to solder in the onboard components. First we installed all the onboard wires. Follow with all the wires from offboard components. Then, we install the resistors, the IC socket, and last but not least, the capacitors. After I trimmed off all the excess component leads, I use a clean toothbrush soaked with 99% isopropyl alcohol I bought from a local drugstore to clean the board thoroughly. This removes all the residue flux from the solder and the marker lines we made earlier. This is to ensure that all the connections are clean and there's nothing that could cause a short circuit. While waiting for the alcohol to dry off, I use a magnifying glass to inspect all the connections, make sure that everything is clean and good, and after the alcohol has dried, I'll pop the op-amp into the socket. Connecting the two batteries and power it up and test that everything is working correctly, and now we move on to preparing the enclosure for our headphone amplifier. I drilled holes around the Altoise box, one for the LED, one for the toggle switch, one for the input socket, one for the output socket and one for the potentiometer. Because the box is made of metal, I have covered the inside of the box with some electrical tape. This creates insulation between the box and our circuit so there can't be any electrical shortage between them. Before putting everything into the box, notice that the potentiometers has a little stabilizer post on them. I could drill a little hole alongside the main hole to accommodate this stabilizer post or I can just simply pop it off like so. Now I can go ahead and finish off our amplifier.
Here I'm using some glue to help holding the input and output sockets in place. Everything fits nicely inside the box. Awesome. I'm finishing it off by putting a shiny silver knob over the potentiometer. And there you have it. A complete Team Boy headphone amplifier. That's all for today. Enjoy quality music on your new headphones amplifier. See you next time.